Hey, welcome back. Uh, another video. This time I'm going to cover my recirculating shower. Um, I got this idea, or actually the step-by-step, -step from a guy named Kurt. He has a channel called Kurt and Snow. They did a van build and um, pretty incredible shower that they have, but they did a recirculating one and that's what I want to do. Mine's a little different than his because I don't have um, the way the way he heats his water. I don't I don't heat mine the same way. And there's two of them and only one of me, so I don't need as much filtration as they have. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to set this up underneath the truck and give you an idea of what I'm doing. Okay, so first thing, I'll just tell you the components that I have. Uh, this is my 10 gallon water tank and the, uh, the water of course is stored in there. It comes out of here, goes through my, my pump. As soon as the, I turn the nozzle on in the uh, shower, it starts the pump. The pump, I have an accumulator. So what that does is that helps take off some of the stress on the uh, kind of like preloads, I guess. Um, take some of the stress off the pump should let make the pump last longer okay so it goes through there as it comes in this is all going to be mounted up it goes through my first five micron filter and uh, then it goes through my five micron charcoal filter and then as it comes back around this will hook in and this is of course going to be up here but this is my UV light and that's my final defense so from there, it'll go up into the floor and into the uh, water heater, which will be mounted in the shower. And then of course the drain will come out and come across and go into the top here. And then on this tank, this is gonna be a drain so that I can drain it out into a garden hose. And, and uh, this will be the fill, the fill and the vent. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I use, I'm gonna use, um, I call it hurricane strap or earthquake strap or whatever, but um, hanger tape. So and it's metal. And uh, so I'm gonna put, that's how I'm gonna ha hang everything. Except for the filters, they're going to be uh, bolted in. These are going to be bolted in. And um, actually, I think almost everything's going to be bolted in. But what isn't, or what is bolted in, I'm going to reassure it with some of this. So uh, if I can get the tape off. Okay. Okay, now, this is something I don't, I never, 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 since I was a kid, ever, uh, carried a pocket knife. And uh, I just never needed one, never felt like I needed one. And so, when I retired, a guy at work that I worked with, TJ, he gave me a retirement birthday gift, and it was this pocket knife. And I tell you what, <laughs> I have used this thing probably more than any wrench or pliers or anything that I, I have here. And it just comes so handy to just flip it out and flip it out and use it. So that's what I did. So thank you, TJ. Shout out to him. It's been awesome. I uh, use it so much. I might have to start sharpening it and learn how to do that. But yeah, it was a, it's a been a blessing. So thank you. And the miraculous thing is I haven't lost it yet. So there's a bonus there. So we're going to bend that. So what I'm going to do right now is just hang this tank. I, I know where I want it to go. So um, I already have. Now I'll tell you another thing I'm, I'm using. I'm, I'm using PEX tubing. 
for my uh, for all my lines that that can take it and shark bite fittings and the shark bite fittings are just you just push them in push the pipe in and it locks so um, wow are they expensive <laughs> I think this one right here it's a half inch by three quarter inch so it'll take a three quarter inch regular pipe that I have over here and it'll go into a half inch piece of of PEX and uh, I think that was $9, uh, seven, uh, $8.98 or something like that. So they're very expensive, but man, is it, it just makes it so easy. Uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> it's supposed to make it easy. Didn't hurt. All right. So for right now, I'm gonna kind of tack this in. Maybe. Now, a couple things you're probably going through your head, eh, maybe not, but a couple of things that would be going through my head is, okay, what um, what happens when he needs to take that out and clean it or anything like that? Well, these are screwed in, so uh, just a second, I can unscrew it and take it out. Okay, and this is just to uh, just to get it up there. I'll tighten it up once I get it more secure. Holy crap! I did better than I thought I would on that. Look at that! That thing's in there. All right. I'm also gonna have a strap from here to here, so so it won't go that way if that loosens, weak uh, stretches or whatever. I don't think it will, but. Okay, so now I'm going to install the pump. Oops, way over here. I put some extra wood in there. I bolted it up pretty tight so that uh, I could have it come down closer. And uh, I gotta tell you, this pump is super heavy for no bigger than it is. So we'll see how it does. It's a C-Flow professional grade pump. 
Uh, I think it's like three gallons per minute. Or uh, I'm gonna put this between a beam like this. It has uh, cushions under it, and it, it says to not crush them, so uh, I'd rather crush them but, <clears throat> and make it tighter, but that's what they said, so that's what I'm going to do. Sure flow is a really or C flow is a really good brand. Almost every video I've watched, they've used them. So I think that's gonna stay. Good. Now I'll do the same thing to this one right here to the accumulator. Here's the electrical for it. I'll drill a hole and take it up through the floor. And this is actually uh, pressurized. So um, you take the cap off. It's just like a bicycle or a tire. And you pressurize it. I'll do that before I get it going. But um, well, there's that so far. Pretty cool. Now I th I'm going to hook up some pecs right here. And... Um, It'll be the first time I've ever done that, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I do need a 90 degree right there. So that's in. Oh, there, that's it. All right. So now, okay, I'm sure a PVC cutter or whatever would probably work as well, but I just used a hacksaw and it cut through it. Um, I'm trying to clean it up a little bit. Doesn't look too bad. Of course, I don't know. It could leak all over the place for all I know. We'll see, right? So, I don't know if anybody's used these before, but um, so this little tube goes inside, and then this compression ring on the outside is there. It's all the way in, and it just locks in place, and it, it won't go anywhere. So, there's my first connection. Ah! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna need, oh, who knows? <laughs> Probably not the smartest way to do this, but hey, it's the way I do it, right? That's gonna go up there. I think it's gonna work. So I need the exact length. 
That is amazing. Hot dog. Well, there you go. Um, that's my first PEX installation with Shark Bite connectors. And um, it actually looks really good. And I uh, guess we'll know when <laughs> I turn it on if the water leaks. So, um, hey, I uh, want to apologize for these videos taking so long. <laughs> Uh, lots of been going on. I've had a hard time finding some some different product and um, Even Amazon of course, I think everybody knows about the supply chain issues So it's affecting everything. I can't find any Unistrut uh, Within reasonable price <laughs> I mean they have uh, $24 for a two-foot section. So it's I, and I need three of those, so it's a little ridiculous. I'm... Okay, so what I've done is I've got everything connected underneath. Uh, I have the 10 gallon tank, goes into a, a small little coarse um, filter, then that goes into my pump, and then I have an accumulator, and then it comes out into a what's called a spin down filter it's kind of like the coarse one but it gets to make sure there's no hair or anything like that uh, that the coarse one misses then it comes up through the floor into these two big blue filters now the reason I brought them here I originally had them mounted in the underneath the truck but these are the short ones and I had about I don't know six eight inches maybe before it hit the ground so I didn't feel comfortable with that. You could see them. Uh, even though I have a skirt on the side, you can still see them. And, and I, I just didn't feel safe with them that close to the ground. Uh, so I decided to bring them in here and mount them between the uh, shower wall and on this, this wall here. So I've already mounted them, sorta. I, I just put them in place. This, uh, I had to shorten, it was about six inches longer or so. So um, I still have to glue it all up and all that. But uh, PEX is amazing, <laughs> I really like it. As you can see, that one bends out a little bit. There's no problem with that. Uh, I'll seal that hole really well on both sides and um, not worried about it chafing or anything like that. It's just wood and uh, no metal. So. Uh, it comes up, goes through both of these filters. This is a five micron filter, and then it gets over here to the five micron uh, charcoal filter. And then from there it comes up and it goes into this. This is what I'm gonna mount next. This is my UV light, and it'll mount right here. And of course I change the UV light. I change the light here at this end if I need to. This will connect right here. This goes on into my shower. So then uh, once I get that done, of course, I the, the trouble with building and living in it uh, is a lot of trouble. <laughs> I've, uh, you, you have to have things out and in a certain way that so you can live but then you find out that that gets in your way. So it's been a challenge. I've been in here for 30 days. It's been awesome, I love it. I'll, I'll love it when I get on the road and get out. I'm out here in the country anyway, so it's kind of like that. But um, I know if I have any problems, the barn's right there. So, uh, you know, that, that takes a lot of the worries out of it. So it's not really like it'll be when I'm on the road. But, so well, once I, get all this done over here I'll go ahead and, and finish framing in the uh, shower okay the first thing I got to do is put this bracket in here uh, I already marked it I'm not eyeballing it <laughs> anybody that's interested I guess I'll drill a hole first you should always drill a hole first
is this? It might be getting to be winter, but it's still pretty warm out. I think it's in the 70s, so that's why I live here. Be nice visiting other places. Magnet doesn't work that great. Okay, there's one. higher than I wanted. or so. Gotta love it when you make mistakes <laughs> and you can cover it up. There we go. All right. Now the trick's going to be to get it straight. So let's try to measure this. Oh, there it is. I was thinking this hole up here was it. And I was like, holy cow, that's, even I can tell that's not right. Uh, so, pretty close. Uh, the cool thing I'm finding out is uh, this comes out about six inches so that the seats can come back. And... Um, I didn't like it at first, but it's uh, really been handy so I can install things. To do it too tight because I don't I don't know if that'll crush or what it'll do so I want to be a little easy on it. Of course I don't want it rattling. Alright well that's installed so now 
gonna put our pecs in there and uh yeah uh <laughs> tj's knife's pretty sharp <laughs> Shove that in. So, push that in. And push that in. There we go. All right. So, uh, well, I take that back. Hang on a second. I have the uh, lights and the tube that I need to put in there and the cord. So, let me get that real quick. Okay, as I said, I've never uh, installed one of these lights before. Uh, this, there's a ceramic tube, or a, I think it's like a crystal quartz tube that has to go in first. That would be this. This goes in there. <laughs> All right. Put the O-ring on first. All right. I didn't see an O-ring. Okay, so um, it's always something with me. <laughs> this time it happens to be uh, no O-ring. So this, I'll show you. This quartz tube has to go through here and it needs this O-ring on this end so the water won't leak out, even though that it has a cap on it and it won't slide. And then the light, it, the bulb itself goes inside here. So um, it, this basically lets the water go around it and um, so it's not touching the light. And then of course the uh, insides, the connector goes right here to the light and I plug it in. So uh, without the O-ring, I can't go any further with this. Um, I do have it up. This is what I wanted to show you anyway, uh, how all this goes together. 